to the channel. My name is Cleveland. So welcome to the Fish Corner. If you're new here, before we get started, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button one time and also hit that like button. Now let's get started with this video. So um, in this video, I'm over here doing an update on this 125 gallon aquarium. Now this is not just a 125 gallon aquarium. This is my saltwater 125 gallon aquarium. Now this tank is full of predator fish, y'all. And I cannot wait to show you how these fish are doing and show you the stocking. If you're new here, you in for a treat. So let me not hold you any longer. Let's take a look at this 125. All right, y'all. So this is my 125 gallon predator saltwater aquarium. Right off back, you see a bunch of beautiful, exotic looking saltwater fish. So let's take a look at the stocking. We have right here, our scribble dog face puffer. We have our larger stars and striped dog face puffer. We have right here, our striped puffer fish. We have right here, that is a panther grouper, also known as a humpback grouper. Star of the tank, right there is my extremely exotic saddleback grouper. Check out that black edge eel, beautiful black edge moire eel. We have a small Titan trigger right here. That's that little guy. We also have in here a Niger trigger. We have two snowflake eels. This is the larger of the two. So the other one looks exactly like this one, but a little bit smaller. And that my friends is the stocking of this aquarium. Now this, there we go, there's the other snowflake eel right there. That's a smaller one. So this aquarium is one of my favorite aquariums out of all the tanks that I have. I love the stocking of this aquarium. I love the fact that they've been coexisting without incident and especially my Saddleback Grouper. This is my favorite grouper of all time. I love this Saddleback Grouper. An absolute stunning specimen. And he's getting quite large. He's gonna have to go in that 225 soon. So uh, as far as how I have this thing set up, I have a bunch of different Carib Sea, Live Rock. It comes purple, and then you have the base rock. That's the white stuff. I have a circulation pump pushing the water towards the filter, which is actually the pumps because I pump the water out into my trash can sump this is one of my this is one of my filters right here 44 gallon trash can sump water comes back in and repeats the process the other pump pumps water into the above the tank sump right here goes through this container goes through the pvc go through all of that media come right back out so that's how i filter this aquarium now all of these fish will get big, which will cause me to remove them and put them into the 225. But that 225 is getting a massive upgrade. I'm turning that 225 into a thousand gallons. These fish will certainly need an a, a thousand gallon aquarium before we know it. So uh, that's, uh, that's the status of this 125 right here, y'all. Everybody is doing great. 
and I'm so happy and I'm so happy that uh, that the fish are thriving look at the ribbon look at the black edge I don't know if you all remember how big he was when I got him but he is definitely grown in size I want to pull the eels from the 37 gallon and put them in here but they're much too small but I can't wait to get them into this aquarium. Look at the scribble dog face puffer though. Aren't those some amazing patterns on this fish? Look at him. And then of course, the Stars and Stripes has always been one of my favorites. The Panther grouper is super sick. Like I said, you can't, you can't deny how beautiful that Saddleback grouper is. Absolutely stunning. Our striped puffer fish, we've had him longer than all of these fish and he is still kind of small, but he's actually growing. It's actually getting bigger now. This guy has definitely taking his time growing. But yeah, so that's about it. Like I said, 125 gallon aquarium. I painted the background blue. I actually painted under the aquarium blue as well. It's sitting on this amazing stand that I've built. That's my 125 gallon uh, reservoir make my salt water down there, store it in there, pump it into the aquariums that need to have the salt water and water changes. That's pretty much it. Everybody's on great. I'll do a feeding video. I'll do a feeding short later on. Uh, what I feed these guys, I feed them shrimp, feed them uh, silver sides. I need to get some octopus. Actually, I do got some octopus. I got some octopus, got some calamari. So uh, they get a very diet. Man, look at this fish though. Such a beast, super thick. All right, so that's all I have for you. Like I said, just wanted to do an update video on this aquarium. Wanted to show you how everybody is doing. You know, a little salty, uh, salty Thursday. So, uh, like I said, if you're new here, he's trying to get all that sand off of him. And if you're new here, see, let's see. But yeah, so if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And uh, you'll stay tuned in for all these for all these upcoming videos that I plan on dropping. All right, y'all, so that's all I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hope that you learned something. Hope that you're inspired by something. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them down in the comment section. But like I said, if you do here, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Show us some support. You know, we've been trying to get to that 20K for a long time, a long time. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, you will help us get there a lot faster. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button one time. And everybody, if y'all like the video, you know what to do. Like the video, just like the video. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't cost you a single thing to like the video, show some support. It's an encouragement for us, you know, so we can keep doing what we're doing. And, um, you know, it lets the YouTube algorithm know that you like the video so they'll circulate the video so it helps a lot so you know moving forward from this video or the next video if you watch it hit the like button hit the like button it's the least you can do especially if you watch it from beginning to end it's the least you can do like the video i'm gonna catch you in the next one peace all right y'all so we almost at 20k we almost at 20k i appreciate you all make sure you subscribe to the channel share the content help us get to that 20k also 
Follow us over on TSC with me on TikTok and YouTube. That is our other channel, Behind the Scenes. You get to see all the behind the scenes content. Aida's in charge of that one. She's been doing a wonderful job getting ahead of me. So if you want to get ahead of me too, you got to follow over there. But again, I appreciate you all. Let's get to that 20K. Have a good one. Peace.